Well, hi everybody, and uh, welcome to my shop. I'm continuing on with the uh, Westinghouse 1398, and I've made a couple of changes to it. Uh, a couple of parts replaced, and I'll show them to you. It's another capacitor I've added up here to uh, eliminate the possibility that one of the sections of the big capacitor, there it is, uh, is bad. I'd done two already. So now I've done the third, and this one I actually cut away the connector down in there. So this old capacitor up here is not involved anymore. And this was a fairly small 10, 10 uh, microfarad capacitor. You know, usually these things are a lot bigger than that, usually 50s, something like that. So, but it's in a position in the circuit where a little bit of leakage in that capacitor uh, could pull the voltage down on this tube. And the voltage does seem to be low on the plate of this tube. This is the oscillator tube too, so I suspect what's going on is a little voltage here and uh, no oscillations. I'm not sure. Maybe it's designed uh, to run with what it has. It's got 100 volts. This guy also has 100 volts on his plate. Uh, this this guy in the middle has got 250. Um, I'm thinking they should all have 250. That is what the B plus is in the in the uh, set. So so I've replaced that bright yellow one. You can see there. I've replaced a capacitor um, there. Also, I think I've put far too large a capacitor in. Uh, after you know halfway through doing it, I started to rethink it. But I don't think it matters. Not for testing purposes. That's for sure. So, uh, after making those changes, I then uh, did a voltage reading and uh, nothing had changed. So, so, not the cause of the low voltage, maybe it's designed that way. I highly doubt it though. But I thought maybe at this point, we should try to push an FM signal into this set uh, instead of trying to receive one on an antenna. So we're going to try to make use of this guy here. And this, this little guy is like a little uh, FM radio station if you like. Right here. Stereo. But we don't need the stereo part. So the signal will come out here. So I just so right there. So I just have to clip onto that wire. First, let's uh, let's try this on another radio first. Here. Get a known radio going here. crashing and banging. Oh. Pretty strong signal, eh? Where is it? doesn't even matter where I swing the wire here. It's putting out a pretty good signal at 98.8. 98.9 maybe. So it certainly is putting out a good strong signal. Let's see if we can find that on here. We need to turn it on, that would help. Volume down, tuning.
roughly in the middle. Some noise. No, we're not near them. Look at that. Hmm. Yeah, there's an internal one kilocycle tone. How do you like that? It's actually working. There we go. That's pretty good.